Good morning, skiers and riders. Sugarloaf and Carabas Valley. Hope you're ready for a great day enjoying the outside. It's time for your latest local forecast and trail conditions. You can find this and much more at our website, WSKITV.com. And this brought to you by Mountainside Real Estate. For today, we'll see mostly cloudy skies out there. Starting out cool, but a little warm up throughout the day. 28 to 32 for your summer temperatures. Base temperatures 35 to 39. A noticeable breeze up top of the mountain. And not too bad down here on the base. We'll see overnight uh, some drizzle and possible flurry which could cause a glaze or so for Thursday morning where we'll see mostly cloudy skies warms up to around 40 degrees at the base mid 30s at the summit an elevated wind as you can see there so please be aware of that it may be warm but looks like the wind will blow uh, or at least forecasted Friday chance of some rain shower showers to snow showers as you can see a high temperature of 45 degrees but that temperature will drop throughout the day on friday and then saturday a high of only 22 degrees with mostly sunny skies and rounding out the weekend with cloudy skies and a high of 35 on sunday so not too bad birchwood interiors check them out in village west or online at birchwoodinteriors.com 131 trails of skiing right on eight lifts getting you there 66 trails on the groomers list Pack powder and hard pack, that'll change throughout the day as temperatures warm up. And Bracket Basin is back open. So uh, that is some good news. Snubber and Skidway get going at 8.30 this morning to move you around the base area. And Double Runner East gets you a little higher on the hill, 8.30. Super Quad and Skyline get going as well to get you all around the mountain. And King Pine and Whiffle Tree, those are the east side lifts. And Timberline, winds and weather permitting, at 9 a.m. Get you right up to the top of the mountain where they did groom white nitro from the top as well as... Uh, Gondola line from the top, so those will be great. Wedge, Timberline, Tote Road, Cinderhoe, Comp Hill, Spillway and Sluice, as well as King's Landing, Hayburner, Haywire, and Skidder. On the east side, they got Hallback, Widowmaker, Flume, Ramdown, Slasher, and Cruiser, as well as Buckboard. Two Hall, Wolf Tree, and Rollway, and Scoot and Windrow on the west side, as well as all the trails and runouts down around the base area got groomed out as well. The train parks, Sidewinder, Upper Tote Road, Spur Line, Boardwalk, Stomping Grounds, and Dropping lot, Drop Line should have the two uh, jumps available for today, as well as that rail line up top. And make note that skinning uphill travel is only on West Mountain to Timberline. The outdoor center is in great shape. Uh, the ice rink is closed due to those temperatures. The Boomoose Bakery and Cafe opens up today. And the Carabasset Fat Bike Trails have all been in great shape as well. The more riders, the better with that fresh snow from the other day. But temperatures warming up in the afternoon, so stay off the trails as things get soft. And the snowmobiling is in great shape as well. Anti-gravity complex, a great place for indoor activity as well as fitness classes. The Sugarloaf Sports and Fitness Center also has some great indoor activities, hot tubs, swimming pools or if you want to get a workout or a bite to eat. And Karaoke Wednesday at the Shipyard. They are ski in, ski out. They've got breakfast, lunch, and dinner every single day right at the Sugarloaf Inn. And the Rack also having uh, enter entertainment on Wednesday afternoon. And the Sugar Bowl, Burger and Beer Night on Wednesday. And the Trails End right up in Eustace. You can find out more about them at trailsend.com. And wskitv.com slash quadcam. That's where you can... Get the info to know before you go. You can see exactly what's happening at the base of the uh, at the mountain in real time with our live quad cam. You can also find that on YouTube as well as another YouTube station for our latest local content. Find us on social media as well as our website, wskitv.com, and have a great day, folks.